Grey Maniacs Gara! I've got a couple of packages that came in the post off of uh, Facebook sellers. So let's just go through them. Uh, some exciting ones, I think. We shall see. We shall see what we have. Right, which one is this one? Uh, this is the, possibly the more exciting one because it's got older comic books in it. Got the new GI Combat, the Mercenary Soldiers of Fate, Fortune, sorry. This is GI Combat 283. Try to get it without any glare if I can. Nice flags on that one. Someone showed this on cover slimmers before. I think it might have been, uh, we had a mercenary week. And uh, I think it might have been Rayman might have shown this one. I can't remember now. Right, we've got another GI Combat. Featuring the haunted tank number 196. If the other kraut tanks find out they're surrendering to a dead man, we're finished. Okay. Cool stuff. Another GI combat. The big war book. More than 40 new pages. The haunted tank spearhead for slaughter. The mercenary soldiers of fortune. And Kanna, secret shadow warrior. You spilled your blood for nothing. There's no invasion force. Wear it. So the GI, the uh, what's it, the Haunted Tank has got separated from its unit again by the looks of it. And uh, yeah. And that seemed to happen quite a lot. Another GI combat. Don't read this one if you're scared of heights. Relax guys, we're high enough to be out of danger when our tank blows. <laughs> you may not be in any danger from the explosion, but I fear you may have some trouble with the Nazis above you with their guns pointed at you. So, hmm. If they don't accept your surrender, then you're dead. But yeah. So is that the haunted tank blowing up? Don't worry about it though, because I do know the tank's blown up before and the ghost goes to the new tank that has happened before. Is it uh, Reb Stewart, his name? Or Jeb Stewart? The, uh, well, another GA combat, another haunted tank. Only one way to get that crowd over the top. Get set for a crash landing. <laughs> They're about to pancake a panzer. I believe that's the uh, the terminology. They have a pancake panzer there. Yeah, panzer division pancake. Mm, interesting cover. We've got tanks on the wheel for uh, cover slinger, so I've got a few to choose from. <laughs> but this one I hadn't seen before. I'm not sure how much it went on for. Uh, Blitzkrieg. We've got. A, uh, a comic called Blitzkrieg. I think it might only be like a 10 part or so, not that many parts, but I've got part 5 here. Do not shoot Hugo, the British are already dead. So what? It is good target practice. It's rather. I could might be able to use this for parachute week. See so these. Again, that's coming up on cover slingers. These guys have died, have died on the way down, where they got hit by a flak or something, or. You know, or got tangled in the trees and then were shot. That's probably what happened. They were got tangled in the trees and they were shown no mercy. That's quite a chilling, that's got something that happened quite a lot. You know, you see it as, as a trope. I'm assuming it probably did happen in real life as well back in the day. I'm sure it must have done. Right, a nice old Green Lantern, number 56. I'm fighting blindly because I really am blind. There you go. And straight away, this is how my mind works. Straight away, I've seen this. All right, it's very think, right, there's a Superboy cover where he's blind, there's a Lois Lane cover where she's gone blind. So I was straight away thinking, <laughs> Slinger's Choice, Slinger's Choice, blind, blind theme. And of course, I could use Daredevil as well. <laughs> In fact, it'd be quite cool. There's a Daredevil cover where everyone's blind on the cover. They're all saying, oh, I've gone blind. Right, a nice old action comics. Number 328, if you dig your action comics, 
check out Dead Man Comics. I think it's just called Dead Man, his channel. Uh, he shows some great comics. He shows some great old Batman, some great old Superman. Gives you some facts about them as well. I'll put his link uh, down below. Check out Dead Man. He does, he does good comics. In fact, there's, there's a few new good faces that I'm following more. I like uh, Dead Man comics. I like Tempest from Mars. I like uh, Brain, Bizarre Brain comics, he's cool. And also Eric. Uh, yeah, they're all good. There are four good channels that I recommend at the moment, <laughs> go check them out. Uh, Matt likes comics, I like his stuff as well. And he likes comics, which is a bonus. <laughs> Some people show their comics and you think, do you even like comics? No, not really, there's not really anyone, I don't, I don't think they're just, just being silly. Right, oh, here's another interesting one, Battle Classics. So number one, 44 explosive pages, this might be a one shot. Suicide Mission. It's got Lieutenant Johnny Cloud, Sergeant Rock, Jeb Stewart, and who is the mysterious man in the iron suit? Battle Classics. Well, I don't know why I got this one, because I know I've got this one already. So I don't know how I managed to pick this one up, but I, I have a friend I can sell it on to, maybe at a profit. I'm not even sure what I paid for this one. To be honest, there was another one that I that was was in my pile, and I realised I picked it up at an eBay haul last month. And I was like, oh, I don't want that one now, thanks, mate. I don't need that one now. I asked him how much it was, because I thought I'd sell it to my mate instead. He said, oh, this one was eight quid. And I'm like, no, I ain't gonna sell it to eight quid for it to him. I'll leave it. I said, but this one, <laughs> I, didn't have the, I didn't have the front to say, can you not give me that one either? So I'm just gonna sell this one to my, to my mate. <laughs> Probably whatever price I paid for it. Right. Another action comics, this is cool. Uh, featuring the day Superman became the Flash. Great Krypton, I've lost my Superman powers and gained those of the Flash, but I can't control my speed. I'll freeze to death when I reach out of space. Okay, so no invulnerability, which is not much cop because Flash has got his little aura, hasn't he, that protects him uh, from when he's speeding. Hmm. Protects him from getting flies stuck in his teeth. <laughs> right, here's another great action comics. Number 303. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, it's low grade. It's the, there's bits missing from the cover. Spy and roll, some chipping. Uh, assuming it's all co uh, complete though, I hope it is. See what happens when Red Kryptonite changes Superman into the monster from Krypton. Because I'm destroying that statue of myself, they all think I'm a menace, even Supergirl. Yet if my plan works, they'll realise I'm Superman. Keep firing, men. Kryptonite bullets should bring the monster down. I think I've read this story uh, in, in a, like an annual or a, a hundred page, you know, collection. Because this story just looks very familiar. <laughs> I think it's Red K. I think Red K does its does its deeds to uh, poor old soups. Right, here's another cool one. Oh, spy and roll to the maximum, this one is. Yes, King Superman, I'm still alive, even though I now have a mechanical body, and this kryptonite that powers my motor will end your tyrant rule. Kent tricked me. He changed himself into a Matalo robot just so that he could destroy me. Featuring King Superman versus Clark Kent Metallo. <laughs> okay, that's a little confusing. So Superman's decided to become king of the world, and uh, 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 somehow Clark Kent's also become a robot, even though he is Superman. This is a long run of Superman and Clark Kent both appearing on the cover at the same time. I should do a special. I should look through all the comics that have got both of them on the cover at the same time, just to do a little feature video. This one looked familiar as well, but I don't, I, my, my records say that I don't have it. If I do, I'll send oh, this one on to me, mate. It might have been I've seen this in, in, other, in videos and that. But it's uh, Action 300. Superman becomes the last man on Earth when he is captive of the Red Sun. There's not another human being left on Earth. I'm trapped here one million years in the future and I can never escape. Ooh, too much glare. Too much glare, we don't like the glare. We want to see the beautiful covers. So there you go. A trapped Superman. Right, and this chap throws in any coverless ones that uh, he doesn't you know he doesn't think he can sell. 
So I get to read the stories. He is oh, Superman number 111. Recovery of a chunk out of it. Uh, here's Superman 216. Coverless. <laughs> I've got a Donald Duck Walt Disney comic here from 1977. Donald Duck, the Duckburg Pet Parade. I don't know if I've ever written any Donald Duck. I've got some Daffy. There's a couple more. Oh, there's more. What's this one then? This one you can't even tell. It's. I think this is Walt Disney. It says Walt Disney on there. But there's no like... Yeah, I think this is, there's like a couple of wraps are missing from this one. But you got some, uh, some Walt Disney stuff. See, if I live closer to uh, another channel, which I, I like a lot, uh, old um, Easy Comic Reader, I could send him these, these uh, carvelous ones for him to do his collages with. Welcome back, Cotter. I've seen many people show this one. Well, this... I vaguely recall there being a TV show. I think it showed over here, but I'm pretty sure I didn't bother watching it. But I think it did maybe get aired over here in the UK. But uh, I guess I'll give that a read at some point. I've got such a big, huge read pile at the moment that it won't be anytime soon. Right, and here's my very first coverless G.I. Joe comic book. G.I. Joe, a real American hero. This is number 43. There you go, so that's uh, plenty of good reading, some real cool comics from my, my collection, a few reader copies. So far I've read all the coverless ones that he's given me, so, and there's been some good ones actually. I wish they had the covers, but mm, they're placeholders maybe, uh, we shall see. Right, and this other lot, some of these are much more modern -y. This is a buy I've never sold book from before, but he had a load of comics up on there, but for a pound each. And you had a whole run of what the rest of what I needed for um, Booster Gold, the Booster Gold uh, volume. And I now only need one more for my Vigilante run. And I got, a, I think I got a deal on this. He recognised it himself when he went to look it up. I think I think I've seen this go for about fifteen pound on on eBay, and I got it for a pound. But uh, yeah, thanks for that, mate. Well, appreciate that. But uh, I'll do business with him again because he says he's got more to sell. So I'll definitely, especially if they're a quid each. <laughs> so Vigilante number 36. It's like he's fighting, he's probably got some amount of price on it because he's fighting Peacemaker. Peacemaker got big for a while, didn't he? Right, I've got a couple from my Legion of Superheroes run. This uh, Legion 1 million. So I don't think that was the one I needed. I'm sure it's Legionnaires that I asked for. And this is Legion of Superheroes, but. Uh, might be a double then, never mind. Right, and I've got some Legionnaires, so number 50. Uh, number 49. Not far off finishing this run now. Number 47. Number 39. Number 38, Brain Freeze. Right, and the rest are Booster Gold, yes. I bought, I think, 1 to 26 or so off my mate Jason at the Mart, a couple of bumps back, and this guy, literally, I've managed to get the rest of the run. 27, this is when uh, Blue Beetle comes back as a Black Lantern, and he's trying to string up his old buddy. And the blue and gold will finally be reunited in death. Yeah. And apparently there's a backup feature of um, Jaime Riaz's uh, Blue Beetle. I quite like the uh, Blue Beetle movie. I thought it was quite cool. I, you know, it did the job, you know. Bit of fun, bit of a fun superhero yarn with good action. Likeable characters, I thought. Number 30, Things Are Booming in Coast City. I think that's his sister there. The end of an era. The tagline on this one is the greatest hero you've never heard of. I'm thinking at this time maybe he'd somehow 
been forgotten from the timeline and he was I think he was using Rip Hunter's time ship to travel backwards and forwards in time sorting stuff out ah here we go number 32 Giffen and Dimitis reunite to bring the Bwahaha back to Booster Gold trust me I'm a superhero okay I'm sure they'll be fun although I prefer a more serious superhero quite a lot of the time there is room for some some fun but uh, this doesn't look like much fun. <laughs> oh dear, look, so he's got a uh, thumbs up. Trust me, I'm a superhero. And the very next one, he's been beaten to crap and he's shown thumbs down. Oh dear, and it says, things go from bad to worse for Booster Go. And he's just saying, ow. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look very great, amazing, does it? Uh, oh boy. Oh. You can see reflecting his, his glasses there. Uh, Max Payne, uh, Max Payne, Maxwell Lord, uh, himself, and Blue Beetle. So maybe he's gone back to the past and he's having a chat with them. Well, it looks like he's teamed up with Mr. Miracle, Blue Beetle, Ted called Blue Beetle, that is, and uh, Big Barda. So another time jump where a time when Ted's still alive. I'm glad I've got these now. I kind of wanted these for a while, but I never put them on my list or anything. Because I think I had a trade. I think I still got a trade, like maybe two trades. But it's like first, I don't know, 10 issues or something, where he does um, meet up with Blue Beetle again uh, in the timeline. And I think Blue Beetle ends up sacrificing himself to uh, secure the timeline's, uh, what's the word, stability. I think, but anyway, I've got the full run now in the, in the single issues as well, so that's cool. What price glory? And here we go, that was then. So he's visiting the graveside, I'm guessing, of Ted. So I'll make sure there's none missing. I need to show the picture, there's one, you couldn't see it in the picture. Right, 40. Forty-one, time's up. Who is the perforated man? End game. Right, we've got a Flashpoint uh, crossover. That's the kind of thing you would be involved with, isn't it? Because Flashpoint was a mess around with the timelines, wasn't it? One of the timelines was shifted. So that's the kind of thing he was as a... Uh, is that called, not, are they called Time Lords? Probably not, because that's uh, Doctor Who. Maybe they're called Lords of Time or something. I can't remember. Agent, time Agents. I can't remember. But I'm sure that was his job. I think Rip Hunter shows up in some of these as well. I'm trying to collect the Rip Hunter run from the Silver Age, which is a lot harder to get hold of than these ones. And you certainly can't buy them for a quid each. All right, it looks like a uh, doomsday. All right, and the last one, Flashpoint, and he's catching up with Flash. I think he's gonna have words of him. What do you think you're doing messing up the bloody timeline? You're an experienced superhero, you should know better than that, you monkey. <laughs> right. Okay, that's it then. Me love you all guys, long time, love, love. That's definitely not the right, that's not definitely not the right one. I don't think I needed that one. Legion one million. I'm sure it was just Legionnaires one million that I put down. But it don't matter. It don't matter. I got a deal on the, um, got a very good deal on the Vigilante. Uh, anyway, so that's my comic books in this little lot. Good stuff, huh? I like, I like lots. Anyway, until next time, have a great amazing day. And may all of you sexy beasts have... No, I've messed it up again, haven't I? <sighs> may all your news be good news. Have a great amazing day. Yeah.
Have a great amazing day. Have a great amazing day. I hope you have a great amazing day.